Good afternoon. I'm Ginger Jeffrey. Topping eyewitness news today, halfway through his first year as Erie County Executive, Mark Polencar says there could be budget trouble on the horizon. Channel 7's Jacqueline Astalis joins me now to explain. Well, the county looks like it's in good shape for the first part of the year, but there could be problems looming in the future. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars has been on the job for more than six months, and he says there is a $6.6 .6 million surplus in the budget at this time, but he says he has doubts about the future. We have a balanced budget through the first five months, but if things continue, we're going to have some very difficult times going forward. Uh, I'm very worried about the financial status of the, of the county. Polencar says there are numerous reasons for concern, starting with the county's financial obligation to ECMC for uninsured patients. In the past, the fixed rate was about $16 million, but it could balloon to more than $50 million this year, with similar rates over the next four years. So we are finding ways to address this problem without negatively impacting our 2012 budget. But as stated, we are expecting these numbers to continue for the next few years, at least until 2016. Poland Carr says the Affordable Patient Care Act and moving the county nursing home to the ECMC campus are two ways to help reduce these costs. Now, the second concern for this year's budget is the state mandate to hire dozens of workers at the sheriff's office. We also have been mandated by the Commission of Corrections to hire an additional 72 deputies over the next few years and is pos possibly seven civilian staff as part of the recent COC report with a cost of an additional $6 million in total. Polencar says in the past administration, there was also $3.3 million in capital projects that were started under the radar that the county now has to deal with, including a half a million dollars in air handling units at the Rath building. It appears the county uh, began about a half dozen construction projects that were initiated in the prior administration that were either grossly underfunded or there was no funding sources at all. Now, some of those other issues include including other unanticipated legal fees of more than $9 million and almost $400,000 for the second primary election that took place in June. Polencar says that could have been avoided had New York State Senate joined the assembly in consolidating that election with the traditional September primary election. Ginger, back to you.